lot of dispensaries and people in the kind of the open market of cannabis view CBN as a negative indicator of either processing or age on cannabis. That's true, but it has to be taken with a grain of salt. Uh, it really only applies to indoor grown cannabis. Outdoor grown cannabis is going to naturally have a small amount of CBN present due to the UV that's impinging on it from the sun and the weathering that's happening as it grows in the outdoor environment during the entire grow season. So not uncommon to find, say, 0.5% CBN in an outdoor grown flower that's been perfectly grown and perfectly processed and is very fresh. So CBN is not always an indicator of negativity, either in um, the growth conditions or in processing. So good to understand that. It also has some interesting therapeutic benefits. One of the ones that's interesting to me especially is around cardiovascular uh, effects. It actually decreases heart rate without decreasing blood flow. So it can bring your heart rate down. Some animal model research has also said that CBN induces feelings of grogginess. I actually did some consumer testing along the way in developing the Humboldt products to look at CBN. And I found very clearly that CBN is a very dose-dependent um, uh, substance and that at low doses can be effective as a sleep aid. But as you go into moderate and high doses, actually seems to be contraindicated for sleep and can be alerting to many people. So there's a very interesting finding. And in fact, found through our work that a low C CBN dose and a dose of THC accompanied with myrcene are virtually equivalent. 